Hey everybody, tonight for Kids Action Club, we're gonna go through our verses really quick. So I have my kids to help us with that. Here we go. Okay, our first verse is Psalms 139, one and two. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. The next verse is Psalms 139, three and four. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways and before a word is on my tongue, you Lord know it completely. Okay, so the third verse is, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your, on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Proverbs three, five and six. Exodus 34, 6 through 8. And he passed in front of Moses, proclaiming, The Lord, the Lord, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness, maintaining love to thousands, and forgiving wickedness, rebellion, and sin. Hey, kids. So tonight, your Bible verse is out of Zephaniah. And this is one of the minor prophets, a tiny, tiny little book in the Bible, kind of right before the book of Matthew. So if you go to Matthew and then go back a dozen pages or so, you will find the book of Zephaniah. And your verse is this, Zephaniah three seventeen. By the way, this is a favorite of many people. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. His love, in his love, he will no longer rebuke you but he will rejoice over you with singing. Can you imagine God rejoicing over you with singing? That's what this verse is saying. So he is just so delighted over his children. Now this verse is specifically talking about his children in Israel, but because you have put your faith and trust in Jesus, you have also become one of his children and therefore you get to be included in this verse. Did you know that God gets happy over his kids? He loves you so much. And it says that he was actually rejoicing. And that Hebrew word means actually to spin around and dance and be happy. How do you guys rejoice? I think when my kids are super happy, whether it be about a birthday party or a new toy or seeing grandma and grandpa, that they get all giddy inside and they jump up and down, they smile a lot. Sometimes they sing when they're really, really happy. We do happy dances. Do any of you guys do those? What is really cool is that God is just so thrilled that we have wanted with our lives to love and obey him. And I was thinking about the Christmas story because it's Christmas time. And I was wondering, you know, have you ever thought about Elizabeth and Zachariah rejoicing with Mary about baby Jesus? Or if the shepherds rejoiced after they saw the new baby or the wise men, what they did afterwards, maybe they threw a huge birthday party for Jesus. Um, there's so many things that people, when they encountered Christ, they did nothing but worship and rejoice. I think it's pretty cool that we worship God and rejoice in him. And then also he rejoices in us. So you guys have a great holiday next week. We're taking off of Kids Action Club. You guys totally keep rejoicing in the fact that God sent Jesus as our savior down to this world. And we are celebrating his birthday this upcoming week. You guys enjoy your verses, and we will see you in January. See you later.